Yo, 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 it's your boy Wes the Tech here to bring you another one of my personal favorite tech tips to help you as an artist grow in your craft. Now, today we're going to be going over the difference between MP3 and WAV music files, all right? So if you're a recording artist who's trying to understand the difference between MP3 files and WAV files, then this is the perfect video for you because in this video, I'm going to go over the differences between those two different types of music files and why it is important for you to know those two differences, all right? Now, before I continue, I definitely want to let you guys know about my free music business checklist tool that's available for download for free on my website right now. This is for any one of you guys who's looking into starting your music business but don't quite know where to start. With this free tool, you'll actually be able to identify three things that you could do right away to start your own music business. So if you want to grab that tool today, you can click on the link above. I'll also leave a link in the descriptions below, all right? Now let's talk about these two music files, right? The MP3 music file and the WAV music file. As an independent artist, when you're submitting your music or when you when you actually export your music from whatever DAW that you're using, you're typically going to have a couple of options to choose from as far as what file type. And it's either going to be an MP3 or a WAV. Now, of course, there are other type of audio files out there, but those are the main two. Those are the main two that is accepted through music distribution services. Radio station will, will either ask you for a WAV or MP3, um, you know, and just venues and all the different places that are actually going to play your music. When you send them your music, it's either going to be an MP3 file or a WAV file. And a lot of times they'll ask you for both. But what is the actual difference between the two? Why do certain places ask for both? Why do you have them both when, when you listen to them? They pretty much sound exactly the same. They're just two different file sizes, but really and truly, they're not the same. And the biggest difference between an MP3 file and a WAV file is simply that the MP3 file is compressed versus the WAV file, which is not, all right? Now, without getting technical, because obviously, you know, when you're talking about um, conversions and compressions and things like that, you know, in the computer field when it comes to files, it can get a little confusing, right? Because you're literally compressing the file sizes, compressing the bit rates and stuff like that. So the best way I could explain this, um, that way everybody can understand it easily, is, is my whole sandwich example, all right? So let's say you have a big um, cheeseburger sandwich, right? You have the two buns, you have lettuce, you have tomatoes, you have onions, you have pickles, right? And you have all the different layers of ingredients on the sandwich. And when you're making the sandwich, you just have, you just lay each piece on top of each other. So each piece is loose, you know, and, and you have the burger and, and the burger is pretty tall, right? If for any reason that you wanted to actually remove the onions or remove the tomatoes, you can do that very, very easily because everything is just literally just stacked on top of each other and they're pretty loose, right? That is what a WAV file is. That's why a WAV file is much, much bigger than an MP3 file, right? Because everything is loose and it is the most perfect form of your audio file, right? It's exactly bit by bit what the audio is in, in technological terms. Now, the MP3 file is the opposite of the wave. It is a compressed version of the file. So it would be taking that same sandwich now but now pressing it down and compressing it so that it could fit in, let's say, uh, a wrapper, right? Because it's at a restaurant like McDonald's or something. You know, they have to kind of squeeze it together to get the wrapping around it, right? That's what an MP3 file is. Now, obviously, in the same comparison, if it, it would be very difficult to remove, let's say, the pickles from a compressed sandwich without damaging something else that is on the sandwich, right? You may have to rip the burger off and some of the burger might get ripped off or crumpled or whatever case, because everything is already squeezed together tightly. And not only that, once you remove the pickles, you're still gonna kind of taste the pickles because everything was already squeezed together and the juices were already mixed into each other. You get what I'm saying? But that's what a MP3 music file is. It's a compressed, pressed down, squeezed version of a wave file. Now. I know some of you guys may be thinking the WAV file obviously sounds better, is better for you because everything is loose, you know, and it's 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 
what the music was intended to be. It's the most perfect form, like I said, of the audio file. But they each has their pros and cons when you once you look at what you really need them for. The WAV file, because it's not compressed, because everything is loose, it's a much, much bigger file size, which means it's very difficult to, let's say, send a WAV file through email, right? You may have to use a Google Drive or Dropbox or something, something, a big storage to send WAV files, especially if you got an album full of WAV files, that's going to be a massive file size, right? You can't just simply send a WAV file through email because each music file is much, much greater. This is where MP3 file comes in handy because it's a because it's compressed, it's a much, much smaller file size. So you're able to send it. You could text message somebody in MP3. You can't do that with a wave because it's a wave is too big to send through text, right? So obviously sending the inform sending the song out, MP3 is easier to do that with because it's a smaller file size. Even though that the way even though that the wave file is that much bigger you st and and is the most perfect version some people would still rather take the mp3 because it's easier to get and send out and, and everything like that right so that is the biggest difference between the two one is compressed and one isn't right you have a bigger file size for the wave and you have a smaller file size for the mp3 some people will still need that mp3 even though the quality is diminished because like i said it's easier to send now what are some of the other differences between the two well when it comes to mp3 file because it's compressed you can actually attach your metadata to it it has the capability to do your id3 tags or your metadata right i did a video um not too long ago i think last week actually about metadata and attaching your metadata to your audio file you could do that to an mp3 file but you cannot do that to a wave file right that is one of the differences so if somebody's asking you for a song with the metadata attached to it you already know that they're asking for an mp3 because you cannot do that with a wav file wav file is strictly an audio file there's nothing else that you can add to it versus the mp3 you can actually add that metadata so these are again things that you have to always keep in mind when people are asking you for the song because they might tell you what type of file size they need just by the questions they're asking you. If they say, hey, I need your metadata to be on your song, you already know it's gonna be an MP3 because again, WAV files cannot do that. So that's another pro to MP3 versus WAV. But ultimately, when you look at all the differences between the two, the WAV file is always gonna be the better file because again, it all comes down to the quality, right? Let's say somebody needs to you know you send you send the music to a dj and that dj wants to kind of mix it better right according to his system he could easily do that with a wave file he could easily let's say bring the highs of you know the snares up in the wave file he could literally edit the production edit the song after it's already been in the audio file with the wave if he want to make the vocals louder he could literally do that very very easily with a wave file right you cannot do that with an mp3 because again everything is compressed together right there's no way that he's going to be able to let's say raise the vocal in that audio frequency without raising you know the drums or the the hi-hats and the guitar that may be in the same frequency why because they're all squished and merged together at this point versus the wave they're all still pretty loose right so that's the biggest pros to the wave is that not only is the quality is better but you could do a lot of post editing editing to it as well all right so these are things that you have to consider when you're sending your music out if you know you're sending it to a dj send it send it as a wave you might have to get um dropbox or something that way you could send that bigger file size because again you can't send it through email but for a DJ, you want to give him that wave unless he only wants the MP3. Some DJs aren't going to be doing mixes and stuff like that with your song anyway. They might just ask for the MP3. But if they're asking for both, send them both or just make sure you send the wave because, again, they could play around with the wave a lot more than they could play with the MP3. All right. Now, the final thing that I want to mention about the difference between wave files and MP3 files is when you're actually distributing your music all right so this is probably going to be the most important part of knowing the difference right when you distribute your music through your music distribution company whoever you choose whether it's DistroKid, symphonic whatever whatever music distribution company you pick once they send that song out to the different streaming services 
those different streaming services will be converting and compressing your audio file to fit within their database. So Spotify is going to be compressing your music file to fit within Spotify. Apple Music is going to do the same. Amazon is going to do the same. All of the different streaming services had their own audio conversions that they will be converting your audio file to to fit within their streaming service. If you send them an MP3 file, think of it this way. It's compressed already because it's an MP3. And then it's going to be compressed again because they're going to go through their own conversions. That could drastically hurt the quality of your audio file because now it's being compressed twice. You already compressed it as an MP3 and then it's being compressed again to get on the platform. This is why it is super, super, super important that when you are actually uploading your music to a music distribution service, you upload a WAV file. If you only have an MP3 file and you don't have no choice, I get it. But you're always going to want to do a WAV. They will recommend and let you know that the WAV is the best file to upload. Regardless of the size, you want to do the WAV because the WAV, again, is the audio file in the most purest form. Each and every single one of those streaming services, they're going to compress that WAV, but at least you're not compressing it from something that's already compressed and you're not going to lose the quality the same way you would lose by compressing an mp3 file all right so rule of thumb moving forward if you guys haven't been doing this make sure you are uploading your song as a wav file to your music distribution surfaces so that you're not losing quality to your audio right you may listen to your song on spotify and it might sound completely different um it, you could notice a difference in it from when you uploaded it to your distribution service. That's because again, they compressed it. Now, and it loses quality every single time it's compressed, right? Every single time you compress it, it's losing quality. So always make sure you're uploading the WAV file, the most perfect form of the audio file, because that's the best quality, that has the highest bit rate, that has the highest sample rate, and it's, and it's the most perfect form of the file when it comes to editing and, and everything like that all right make sure you guys do that i know some of the music distribution companies accept mp3s and accept waves and things like that but it will always be recommended to do a wave above anything else all right but that's pretty much the difference between the two that's the differences between wave and mp3 files now you guys understand you know the capabilities of them both and why we need them both and the importance of each of them are so if you just want to send a song to your buddy or send somebody the song so that they can review it mp3 is just fine but if you're trying to send it to a dj or upload to music distribution or you want to get it on the radio you got to send in the wave because the wave is the most perfect quality of the audio file all right but that's pretty much it guys that's everything in regards to the difference between the two before i let you guys go of course i gotta always remind you guys about my ebook here or my book here the 13 steps to jumpstart your music business with this book it'll actually map out the 13 steps that i took to put myself in a position to leave my nine to five job so that i could do music full time if you guys want to learn uh, what it takes and learn the steps that i took to put yourself in a position to do music full time definitely grab that book i have it as the ebook and i have physical copies of it of course i'll share the link in the descriptions below all right it's the same 13 steps that i took if you follow those steps you will be in the perfect position to leave your nine to five job as well all right guys but that's pretty much it guys thank you all for tuning in and i'll see you guys next week peace I, I, I feel like moses Can't nobody face me. Yeah. Can't face me. I feel like Joe.